It's Kin Porsche time! Yeah! <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> um, episode three has long been awaited since we took a break last week. Um, and um, I'm ready to just jump right in. Like, I don't want to wait anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to, like, talk anymore. Let's just no, jump right in. Let's just it. do it. All right. <laughs> oh my god. It's fun to be his bodyguard. Oh my god, because, they're oh, watching Bad and Crazy! Are they watching Bad they're watching and Crazy? crazy. Oh, they're watching Bad and Crazy, oh my, oh my god. gosh. They're supporting other IKE projects. <laughs> oh my god, I, I want to be his bodyguard because you just get to watch right? and like relax. Oh my god! He suggested porn? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, that's so porn. That's so porn. Oh my god! <laughs> Oh, that's why he has trauma because he's been kidnapped and who yeah. doesn't want to go out there. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah, this is when he gets on the bar. Not them influencing. Oh my god. Yeah. That food. The guy in the glasses is so cute and like out of his like bodyguard. Like, right? Clothes. This bodyguard should be like supermodels, right? <laughs> yeah, he's good. Yeah, he's gonna turn I'm, it off. I'm already like, I'm like already laughing because you, 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 we saw how he's like in the um in the yeah. trailer. Remember, he's like dancing on the on the bar. <laughs> oh my god! See, this just needed music. We're gonna get. <laughs> oh my god! There he goes. Yeah, he's gonna <laughs> oh, get... Oh my god! Real drunk. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I, I love, love him so much. <laughs> right? Look at the bar owner. <laughs> oh. She's like... Oh. Right? Oh. These people right? are like dancing earlier. Yeah, like... there it is. There's a shot. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, he's so hot, babe. Right? He's so fucking hot. Look at Boys him. Boys should be to see the world. <laughs> uh oh, he's in trouble. <laughs> no, he he's probably like, oh, he got to like. Take yeah, I feel out. like. Yeah. I'm sure it's been a problem for a like, long time. Like he hasn't gone yeah, out in a long time. He's amazed. With hey, how... he's rocking Calvin Klein. Let's go. Yes, promotion. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, he's probably. Oh this my is god. probably him hinting Porsche. He's like, that he's, he's into men. He was like, bitch, right? what? Oh my god, his outfit. Oh my god, his outfit. Fab. Oh my god, he said Fab. <laughs> I was like Fab. Snatched and it. he said Fab. Yes. 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 We love a sharpshooter. Nice. He's getting better. Yes. Oh my god, he's so hot. Oh, is he going against the Perth? Because he made fun of him last time. Yes. Perth is so cute. Hey. I love his YouTube content. He's gonna reverse. Nice one. Loser. Loser. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> how come you know what he's gonna say? Because that's what Pert said to him in the episode one or episode two. Uh, this guy, what's his name? He's so foggy. One of the friends, uh, one of the bodyguards. Of oh, yeah, so. obviously, I know. I like don't know his name. <laughs> My God, his outfit. <laughs> <laughs> right? Jesus. 
half of the budget for oh Kim and- Porsche went to his outfit. Right? <laughs> oh my gosh, they're playing Jenga too? Oh my god. Oh, this is the scene where he tries to shoot them. Oh yeah, now I remember yeah. from the preview. From the preview. Oh shit! Oh shit! Fuck, oh arm. no! Not Kin, like, saving, like, for... Yeah. So he just got hit on the arm. Yeah. Wow, he's so protective of for... Mm-hmm. It's his first time shooting a person. Yeah. It must be really hard for him too because he empathizes with the guy. Different person this time, huh? No, it's the same guy. Really? I think it's yeah. a different one now. No, it, I can recognize his face. It's the same guy. <laughs> Get out. That looks so comfy. <laughs> right? Oh, now we get to see his tattoo. Oh, there's a tattoo. Nice. Who is that? Jeff Sator, the third brother. Is it? Yeah. I yeah. guess they're not yet done with the party. Oh my god. Oh my god. The production value, yes. <laughs> oh my god, I love that. With the fans. <laughs> not the bar owner being like <laughs> so game into this. I love it. My god, every outfit is so iconic. Right? And he always pairs it with really cool glasses. Oh my god, his friend. Yeah. Oh, it's his friends? Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love how they're getting along. Yeah. Yeah, show us the fun side, you know. Yeah. Like, not just I that. Like, yeah, I'm sure a lot of them haven't had fun like that, you know, like the bodyguards. Like, not just serious sides, like, show yeah. us the fun side. Uh oh. Be careful. <laughs> oh, not the oh. fun Girl, oh, wait. did you see that? Oh, wait, that's the couple and. Oh my god, not them looking for a third. They found a third, y'all. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Yes, Ken in those glasses. <laughs> oh, they're dancing. Oh my god. Oh, oh they're hugging oh, you. That painting, it it must mean something. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, it's, <laughs> it's oh, them. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> not them it's being the way, like, um, it's the way you called it. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, he's so cute! Right? Oh, oh. oh my god! <laughs> yep, Why? I knew he's hot underneath that Heck yeah. shirt. Not, not, wait, not him having no clothes under the hoodie, though. Oh my god, not like the... Did the someone quiet, just touch, like, bodyguard. someone just touched him. Right? Not like the quiet bodyguard being, like, so... Right? Oh my like, god, he's so beautiful. Crazy right now, so... <laughs> yeah, everyone is drunk. Oh my god, not oh my god. The- not Porsche! Right? I'm down. Okay, oh my god, Porsche. it was Porsche. Oh my god, he's so drunk. Oh, <laughs> his glasses are off. <laughs> oh my god, this show is crazy. Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god, not him! Not him getting all done! Oh my god. But he's having fun though. <laughs> oh, he's having so much fun. Oh my god. Oh my god! Not them like... Okay... Not them going out on their own... Oh... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I already wiped all the dust. So cute. Who we got my heart? Oh, not the romantic music. Stop. Oh, I love that Kim, you know, is just... Oh, he's just, you know, being comfortable with Porsche. Like. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I like this. They gave us like a really natural progression of like mm. them butting heads to now like, you know, they're getting more comfortable with each other and like 
sometimes you a lot of enemies to lovers stories don't have a lot of time to build that oh my god did he just oh i thought he farted uh, cute not <laughs> oh <laughs> Ah, oh, they're already flirting. Right? I love the the setting scenery. Yeah. I feel like he's like giving them like a fun night that they haven't had in a long time. What's with time, days you know? and oh, uh, and water? <laughs> <laughs> right? It's always, yeah. It's always gonna be like a beach, or like a lake, or a <laughs> river. Huh? Oh. Uh, Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, that one's cute. Right? Seconds ago. Whole life. Mm. Right. Mm. 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 Ken is falling in love. Look at his stairs. New song. Oh these lyrics. God. New song. Yes, go for it, Ken. Go for it. I don't even think Porsche will remember. Right. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Screaming. Oh the way the God. music was quiet for that second, that was so good. Right. Aww. Oh my God, Porsche. I hope you remember this. He's kissing him back. Oh, it's so good. Look at that buck drop. Mm. Oh my God. Oh. Ooh, okay, I it's get Bible. Vegas. <gasps> oh my god. Mm. Oh. Wow, that's such a short episode. Up, uh, yeah. 45 minutes this time. Not 47 minutes. Yeah. Mm. I really love the progression that we're getting with them. Because, yeah. like, this is what I was saying in episode one. Like, you're, they're gonna like you know naturally go from any to lovers and like right get to see each other's heart because like you know they're both they both have like mm -hmm. you know they have heart of but both have, i feel like they both have hearts of gold you know like you know like we talked yeah. about the layers of 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 porsche you know how like he's been through a lot and he's um endured a lot with his family and so that's why he puts on this like goofy persona and like he does he makes a lot of jokes and stuff like that because it's like it's like a coping mechanism you know and then sometimes he really just has to have fun so that he could forget about the sadness he's going through and that's also probably why he was trying to convince mr tank and is that them pronouncing that right like um yeah ken's brother to go out because he's he's also probably like dwelling and just like in his head just sitting there watching the show you know so yeah i really love that and and i love that we're like like we were hoping for before like we're starting to really get um kin's perspective you know like i feel like in his, in his nature it's like it's not he's not really like for this kind of life but he doesn't have a choice and so yeah you know that's why he's so protective over his people and like but then um you know they keep referencing that something happened before that really traumatized all of them and that's why they need bodyguards that's why his older brother like is scared to go outside and why he's so protective and so i love i love this like you know this is exactly what i was hoping for uh, since we started watching you know just like it's a natural progression of them going from enemies to, enemies to lovers yeah. and it makes sense you know like I was trying to say earlier that like sometimes you know we watched a bunch of enemies to lovers shows and sometimes you don't have a lot of time to like really make it feel organic and natural sometimes like they're enemies and then the next episode all of a sudden you know they're okay yeah. <laughs> or like in love falling in love um and it yeah. makes sense for those shows but this one it really feels like we're we're living through it more naturally you know especially week to week it's kind of a slow burn especially with that extra week that we had to wait for this episode you know like it feels like we've spent enough time for them to naturally start to kind of break down their walls you know and 
get to yeah. know each other more. You know what I love about this episode? Mm. Um, this episode is more fun for me. Like, mm-hmm. there's like, there's not much serious scenes. Yeah. And so, even if it's more fun, they went really deep for this episode. Yeah. I want to point yeah. out what what Bill or Pete said that in this world, there's really no heroes or villain. Like, mm. it's not, it's Remember not black it. and white. Yeah, I remember that line. There's no really heroes resonated. and villains. We're all just we're a mix of both, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Like from the other per, from the other side of the or like it's like two sides of the coin. People are are like coins. We have two sides. Like from mm-hmm. other people's perspective, we might be villain, but for mm-hmm. other from the other people's perspective, we might be heroes. It's yeah. it's a matter of perspective, and I love yeah. how they went deep mm-hmm. with that. And That's also nice. when Porsche said that, wow, this is what I hate before. This is what I grew to hate. But then yeah, he has I found myself he mm-hmm. doing it. Mm-hmm. I love how they're going deep with the dialogues. Mm-hmm. I love, I appreciate good writing. Like, and wow, the emotional this, struggle. Yeah, like... Yeah. I really appreciate that too. Like again, that's why I've always loved for, of the characterization of characterization of Kin or sorry of Porsche that we've been getting. You know, all and yeah. all. I mean, just example. Uh, there's there's Porsche, and there's also Mr. Tankun. Like, they're both eccentric in their own ways, but there's a deeper reason why. You know that they're like the they are like they're they are the way that they are, and like yeah. why they're like that because. You know they all have their own traumas and they just they have ways to to process it and manage it you know and i love that i love that everyone kind of like notices that something's a little off with mr jenkin because mm-hmm. like you know he has this chaotic energy he dresses a certain way and even porsche's friends were like hey is this your friend he dresses kind of weird but i love that everyone kind of just like yeah he's a little weird but just go with it you know just accept him and and I love that too. Like, there's like this, like again, a deeper side to it. You know, it's not just, oh, yeah. uh, it's not just for shock or entertainment value. You know, like these characters have depth, and I really appreciate yeah. that. Well, let me just say that Kin Porsche the series is disguising as like a fun comedic show, but really, in reality, or like inside its shell mm-hmm. of that comedic vibes mm-hmm. it's actually deep yeah I love it's that. actually deep yeah 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 and, and it's it's like real life you have you have like funny moments and shocking moments you know like there's there's some nudity sometimes <laughs> you know and sometimes there's sex sometimes there's sadness and violence and we're getting all of that in, in the show like yeah. this you know and that's what I, uh, another thing i really appreciate like you know this is our first time well we've watched other you know our more r-rated adult themed um, bls but like for this to be one like i love that it's not just r-rated for the sake of our being r-rated you know like yeah it serves a story to show all of these yeah in adult for themes. sure hmm. like so far like it shows like it's not just for it's not just for shock value hmm. it it actually serves a purpose because mm-hmm. Like from the words of George R. R. Martin, a creator of Game of Thrones, huh? he was like, um, shocking narratives or scenes. Okay, this is not verbatim, but like shocking scenes like are like useless if they're just shocking. They're just shocking because and and has nothing behind it. Why they're shocking. Mm-hmm. For this, you know, we get to see like, you know, like um R-rated scenes mm-hmm. and yeah, it's like it's it's natural. They serve mm-hmm. a purpose. I mean, mm-hmm. from this episode, for showing Tan Kun porn, it's like showing his personality. Like he's a fun guy. And like you know, they're like, <laughs> you know, it's yeah. like it's not just shocking because they want to shock people or like yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It it serves a purpose. Get it's it, like get well. It. Okay, well, I, I feel like well, I feel like it is shocking for the sake of shocking, but like, but it still serves, but in a way that serves the story. Like, obviously, as an audience, like, and they're creating, they're like, they know we're gonna react this way, but like, mm-hmm. again, it's like, it's it, it's in line with the character and like with what the story they're trying to tell. You yeah, know? and it's so natural. Yeah, <laughs> like people, 
like people do that. People do like, stuff like that. Just yeah. show porn. Just show yeah. porn to everyone. Just to have, <laughs> like to make fun of. Them, like, like that, and I love that you know? Mr. Chang got into it and then he was like, You think she's gonna die? <laughs> that part was so funny. Oh and God. I love that he and then when when uh Ken comes in, he was like, What are you guys watching? He was like, Porn, haven't you seen it before? <laughs> <laughs> like he didn't even he just kind of went along with it right away, and I love that. Yeah. It's so funny. <laughs> oh my god. That let's talk about the kissing scene by the yeah. end. You can already tell that Ken already has feelings for Porsche. Yeah. Like, you know, he's just drawn to him as a man. Like, he's yeah. fucking attractive. Like, I'm drawn yeah. to him. Like, right. even and though then, he's my bodyguard. Yeah, you know? and, and on top of that, he's he's seeing the things about Porsche that make him special, you know? Like, there's little moments where Porsche does, like, um, impress him that and notice him, you know? Like, or even yeah. earlier, like, when he was surprised that he actually got his brother out of the house. Yeah, we just don't know with Porsche yet because I mean he's drunk. Sure. So, like, oh yeah, let's that's see also his reaction. Right. Like on the next episode because yeah. for sure now we get to see that Ken already in love with Porsche mm-hmm. clearly, and let's just wait for Porsche. Like, but it was there was little subtle moments of tension though. Like remember when um he was dressing his wound. And they made eye contact, and like you can tell, Ken got oh, yeah. like shy right away as when they like lingered a little too long. You know, he was like, "Oh, okay, you're done." You know, like those little things, like where you can tell that he's attracted yeah. to him, but he's like trying not to make it obvious. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I also thought that too. I was like, "Oh my gosh!" Like we're like three in episode three of fourteen, and we're already getting a kiss. Mm-hmm. But then I thought about that too. Like what you're saying, like, "Oh, but like, what if he doesn't remember?" And then there's this whole thing, and then it leads to them kissing again later. But um, this is, yeah. I mean, this is like Ken. Like this is like you know Ken falling in love with Porsche, mm. and I love that. Yeah, it's so natural. Like this is so natural. Like for me, I agree. You get to see how, like, you know how, like everything is in full bloom for for Kim. Mm-hmm. Like, wow! I just this is like the moment he realizes like, oh, I'm officially in love with this man, mm-hmm. and I'm just gonna kiss him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but for Porsche, of course, it's like a different side. I feel like. For Porsche, it's gonna take a while because I mean, he's originally like like into girls, so you know, maybe it'll it'll take a while for him to explore his bisexual side. Yeah, yeah. But for Kin, he's always been sure. Yeah, that he likes. He's attracted to men. Yeah, he even has his his uh his hookup. <laughs> yeah, so it's easier for Kin to like kiss. Porsche, but for Porsche, it's gonna take a while for sure. Sure, yeah, but um, yeah, we'll see. I'm excited to see where it continues to take us. You know, like I remember last week, or I guess the last episode, I was kind of like, you know, asking things like, "Oh, where's this going?" Like it's been a slow build, but um, I think I finally like settled into the pace, and I'm enjoying the fact that we have so much time to like have really small moments and like just really like. Um, just like human moments with the characters without having oh, yeah. to worry about the story progressing too much, you know? Like, mm-hmm. you know, like a lot of times we watch shows and the pace is really fast because there's only so many episodes and so yeah. much runtime. Oh. And, and so, also, like they're finally to... showing the third brother, yeah, like, which is what you were, you were saying Jeff earlier, right? Third Kim, yeah, I've already seen oh. his BL before. Interesting, yeah, you said he's yeah. a singer, right? Yeah, he's also a singer, and he's, he's in the intro, isn't he? Ooh. Of course, he's yeah. Edward's brother. Yeah, one of the leads. Interesting that they're keeping him like mysterious for another. Like they didn't even show his face. This. Oh episode. yeah. Excuse but me. they're all saying, but they're saying that they're all unhinged in their own way. Yeah. The brothers. So. And I like that they're they're referencing whatever happened in the past that caused the family to be so traumatized. You know. Um, oh, yeah. and I, I like that we're slowly uncovering what that is and what happened to make that play. Like, so I mean, we've we've heard that um, Mr. Chankun got kidnapped, yeah. you know. So there's that, and then you know, they 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 they're in the mafia. So 
I'm sure it has to do with that and shit happens. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm I'm really excited about this the, what, continuing on this journey with these characters and uh, getting a lot more funny moments. Like um, I I just really appreciate the levity and like the the fun things and just it's over the top like you know like R-rated scenes and then also just funny scenes and then the goofiness of the characters. But then you balance they balance it so well with like the moments of like heart and depth and and stakes you know like we go we go from laughing about the porn scenes to like being genuinely worried about the characters and their safety and i i love that balance and um how they're able to really make all of that feel natural and work together you know yeah agree all right well that was episode three thank you guys for joining in Um, thank thank you thank you guys for like watching along with us this is our first uh series reaction on the channel that we're going through together so um you know if you guys are on this journey with us on kin forge thank you for being here we're so appreciative of you guys joining along with us to watch these shows with us and um we love gushing about these shows with you um some of you have been leaving such thoughtful and really like well thought out um comments and and it shows that you guys are really you know tuning in with us and so we just wanted to say we appreciate you uh, for being here and um, we thank you for watching um and uh, yeah we guys we'll see you guys next time <laughs> again my name is brian my name is philip and you're watching brian phil tv bye, bye.